lovely hearty German food and then I would also have you know, pasta and, and lots of seafood and um, grew up around three languages. I grew up um, learning and speaking English of course but I, I also grew up uh, around, around the German language and uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of grew up around the Italian language too but um, I did I never learned Italian um, and I learned German I started learning German when I was 10. Um, and I still practice, and I still speak it, and read it, and I can understand it now. Um, uh, it's gotten a lot better, even though I'm still not fully fluent in it. And um, uh, living in New York City is is it's great. I mean, I, I can't imagine living anywhere else. Um, it's, it's so diverse, and there are things that you would you only you only see here in New York, uh, you wouldn't see anywhere else because it's, it's just so unique, and like, there's so much life here. And um, I really like it, and it's, it'll always be my home, uh, no matter how many European countries uh, my family is from. Women begin on the king, tree head. The village really tastes like soup without salt. Then blame we evil, say, night falls. Another new home. Uh, my name is Diana Ho, I'm currently 17, and I'm working as a lifeguard and are going off to college at the end of August. I'm, current, um, I'm from Taiwan, but I'm born in New York City. And I've lived in Taiwan for about nine years and learned the culture and the language over there. Then I moved to Canada, and that's where I learned my English. Canada and Taiwan are very different because, you know, the culture, Chinese people, Canadians, 
white people, <laughs> Asian people. And that was really cool though because I got to meet a lot of different people. And now I live in Brooklyn and I love it there. It's a lot, of, it's really different than what it is in Canada because it's a lot, of, I guess, more ghetto people that lives there. So I guess that's how it changed me somehow. And I like to swim and I like to do outdoor stuff, but mostly I just hang out in the city. No matter where I go, it's by walking or train. So mostly I guess just show my friends and shop and eat the most. The food here is, you know, get me fatter and fatter every day. Oh, New York City is really busy and there's always something to do. Even though now it's really hot in the summer, but there's always something to do indoor, outdoor. And the people that I met here are awesome. And they're very outgoing and everything. They're just different than where I would find people in Canada or in Taiwan. And I've learned a lot from, like, just from the city. Because, you know, New York City is really one of the biggest sightseeing places in the United States. So.